Skinny Fam, and it's me, April. And today we're trying something different, a cooking video. So I saw this recipe, well I was looking for a recipe for pork chops because we've got some on sale. And I found this one for a crock pot recipe for smothered pork chops. So right now as you see I'm just seasoning the meat with some salt and pepper. I will tell you that the end product was a little salty so you may not even want to salt your meat. I think pepper and garlic powder would be okay. All right, so now I'm getting ready to use the crock pot liners, which are a life saver when it's time to clean up. I'll just take the bag and toss it out. All right, so now I'm just gonna put the pork chops in the crock pot. Just kind of lay them as flat as you can. I did have to overlap a couple of them. I do believe I had six in total. Now I'm just seasoning the other side of the meat. Again, I would hold off on any salt type season. I didn't put a lot on there, but when you see some of the other ingredients, they do have salt in them. So I don't think it's necessary. So you're gonna use French onion mix and then cream of mushroom soup, and a package of brown gravy mix, and as well as some chicken broth. So now I'm just gonna mix all that together. Put the gravy in. And then with the French onion mix, I would actually only use half of that package because that's something that is also kind of salty. So probably half a package would have been sufficient. I mean, it wasn't terribly too salty, but it did have a little kick of salt. You can see my baby just came up and joined me. This is not a baby, she's almost 10 years old, but I woke her up, I guess. So I did this before I went to work. It took about 10 minutes to get all this together. So something quick and easy you can do in the morning. Or you can even probably prepare it the night before and then just pop it in. But it was really simple to get all their ingredients together, which wasn't that many. Um, but it's nice for a working mom to have something done and ready to go. And then you'll be ready to eat when you get home. You just cook a few sides and that was it. So once you have everything pretty well mixed up, you're just gonna cook the pork chops or your meat with your mix, your gravy mix. And then also too, you just wanna make sure it gets around each piece. So I kind of lifted it up, stirred it around a little bit just to make sure everything was covered. So once you have everything done, you want to cover it up, of course, and then you'll cook it for six to eight hours on low. All right, so here's the finished product. I got some rice, some beans, and the pork chops. And they are so tender. Throw it on top. 